Hey guys, it's uh, Pika23, uh, Mandy Reeves. Uh, well, there's not too many new developments on the seizure front. <gasps> oh, there isn't, there isn't. Um, I've still been getting the seizures. However, um, I got one that was, um, whoa, it was real bad, like on a, a Friday. So I go to the hospital. I go like to the Kimball Medical Center in Lakewood or wherever. And um they're like, Okay, we're gonna keep you overnight and we're gonna like get you a neurologist consult. So I'm like, Alright, sweet, whatever. Because they took a CAT scan, they found something hinky in there. I don't know, whatever. So they found something. I don't know what. Now then and then the next day waiting around, waiting around, waiting around. Uh, turns out the neurologist consult was canceled, and they're like, "Well, eh, me. And they're like, "Well, the doctor's like, "Well, do you have any tumors?" I'm like, "No, not that I know of. Uh, no aneurysms." I'm like, "What? Well, wait a minute. Wouldn't you the one to be telling me this? Wouldn't you know?" Well, I can't get your records, so I'm like, "All right, whatever." So, turns out I have something called a pseudotumor cerebri, or cerebri, which is, um, intracranial pressure of the brain, of the skull, and we have a phone call. Anyway. I'm not um, answering it if it's my mom. Who is this? Yeah. But she's not home. Yeah. And she's still at a meeting. Yeah. Yeah, I know, well, she might have stepped out or something. Well, she can't come to the phone either way. Well, oh, yeah, but she just can't come to the phone. Why? Because she's doing something right now. She's making a videotape. <laughs> no, the computer's closed up. She's using it. Well, we'll call you back later and tell you. It's not like really critical. Maybe around 10 o'clock or so. Anyway. Well, maybe around 9. Well, maybe there's a freaky deep, right? deep, 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 freak, freak. No, Pam, you can't. I'm sorry. Okay. You're gonna go. All right, bye. All right, turn off the phone. Woohoo! Right, redo the video. Cool, 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 cool. No, redo the video. Mommy's a crazy. So anyway, well not crazy, but she's just annoying as hell. Anyway, so they they told me I had something like pseudotumor cerebri. I don't know, an intracranial pressure, which could explain the auras. You know, like the the wishy feeling I get when I have the seizures. Um, I don't know if any of you all have that or heard of it, but anyway, that's what that was. And then I get like real sick, like on like Saturday night or Sunday morning rather. I'm just getting nauseous, like nasty, nasty, nasty headache. Uh, stuff coming out both ends. Don't want to spare spare me. I'll spare you the gory details. Just look up uh, Monty Python, uh, Mr. Creosote. Uh, you'll see. You'll, you'll see. You'll see. You'll, you'll, uh, that was both ends. The, Mr. Creo, so what, what he did only was both ends with me. And, um, uh, enough of that. And then, I got real, real dizzy on, um, yesterday. And I had to go back to Kimball, and they're like gonna keep me again. And they're like, oh, no, 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 we're not. I'm like, alright, whatever. Fine. Whatever. No, as I'm hating hospitals lately, I can't stand them. Um, oh, there is something new, a new development besides that whole pseudo tumor or whatever. Um, I might be participating in a um, a um, a clinical trial for uh, folks that have seizure disorders. 
I don't know yet what's going on or what they're doing about it yet, but oh, pardon me. I might be uh, signing up with that. That's over in Tom's River. It's uh, I found that about it on the, um, the website, Team Epilepsy. I think it's teamepilepsy.com or if you go on Facebook, it's like Team Epilepsy Project. Anyway, they'll show you like your your state and everything if you qualify. So far, I so to qualify. We don't really know yet. Um, we're waiting on that. Otherwise, everything is good, you know. I mean, I just keep having the seizures. I gotta wait them out, you know. I'm supposed to go May some some sometime in May to to a neurologist if disability decides I don't have to go quicker than that, like if they need more evidence, I don't know. Um, but they'll pay for it if I have to go. Otherwise I'll just go in May or something or whatever. I already got my um, my worst case scenario uh, what do you call it, it uh, figured out which is just to lawyer up and appeal, appeal, appeal. No matter what I do, appeal, appeal, appeal. Um, I actually networked with some people over at, well, some lady at, uh, Monmouth Medical when I went to go get my, um, my, uh, ghetto tooth, uh, up in this right area looked at. Um, we're getting that pulled out on next Wednesday. Um, anyway, so she overheard me talking about seizures and stuff, and she's like, oh, go to, um, I have what you have, you know, you know or something similar. Uh, you gotta go to NYU, uh, Langone, the hospital, Langone Center for Epilepsy, or Langone the hospital, at, at Langone Medical Center at NYU, or something like that. Big long name. Fancy schmancy. They're like the best in the world, apparently, and they have like all the, the, um, the, the, the tests. See, I'm not sure if it's epilepsy. I, I really don't know. I mean... Because it says you could have seizure, you could have psychogenic seizures, even if you don't, even if you have, a, if you have epilepsy, you could still have psychogenic seizures. So it's like, either it is epilepsy or it's not epilepsy. Tell me now. So that's the weirdest thing, you know? Is it like, well, it's psychogenic, I'm a gift, but you can also have psychogenic seizures if you have epilepsy. And also if you have MS or Parkinson's. I'm like, well, God forbid I ever have either of those. But it'd be nice to have a diagnosis of some type. Even if it's like a premenstrual hormone woman thing. I don't care. Tell me what it is and how to fucking fix it. So, yeah. I gotta wait. Because a Medicaid Part G, thank goodness for it. Or else I wouldn't have any meds at all. Uh, that's the good part. The bad part is nobody accepts it in the medical field. Hardly. The dentists are like, oh, you know, cool, take it. I'm like, alright, good. So I get my teeth all fixed and taken care of, which is nice. Um, I go again on February 29th to discuss getting out the rest of the wisdom teeth because they're all starting to bother me now and crowd out and ache and whatever. And every time I get a sinus infection, they all start throbbing like a month. So, yeah. Besides that. Uh, we were talking today um, at, a, at, a, at the group about... Uh, about worries and stuff and what you do and what you would do in your best case scenario, worst case scenario, the likely scenario and mine like I said was if I ever get to, if I get disability, if I get it, good. Likely scenario, I'll probably get turned down the first time and then appeal and appeal and appeal and appeal and appeal and appeal till I get it, till I get it, till I get it, till I get it. Worst case is I never get it, never get SSI, and be stuck on GA for the rest of my life. Which, I don't think going to happen. Because I, I, I'm sick. I, I'm not a well person. I, 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 wish, I wish I was. But I don't think I am. I know I'm not. I mean, because well people don't flail and going to a weird ass state of shocking in and out of consciousness drooling 
tightening of the left side of your face, numb this tingling crap. Do they? No, didn't think so. I mean, I swear, it's crazy. It's just the weirdest thing to ever have happened to me. Um, but it, it's making me, uh, uh, you know, realize that, you know, don't take your health for granted. Basically, take it one day at you know, don't take your... <laughs> it's like, don't take your health for granted. It's not worth it. Ugh. Um, so, yeah, I'm graduating from, uh, IOTSS. Well, not graduating, but I get to get out. I'm deemed, like, technically kind of sane on, uh, in a few more weeks, I guess, or another month. I don't know. Something like that, anyway. I don't have to go there anymore, but, um, I'm thinking about starting to, uh, train to be a peer train, to be a peer, a peer counselor, which is like, if you're, um, it's like, like, um, like a drug counselor only, but for, like, mentally ill people, so, like, reformed the mental illy, ill psychiatric patients can talk and hang out and, you know, lead discussions and shit, so, whatever, that'd be fun, we'll see, uh, <sighs> Pardon me about that. Ugh. Oh, shit. Hurry up, honey, with that food. Because I gotta take my med cuisine. I'm like late with that. Alright. I'm like an hour late with that. I was supposed to take it at like five. Med cuisine and the, um, and the Zofran. Generic Zofran. Because freaking Medicaid goes down. You can't have the dissolvable tongue ones. You gotta have them. I'm like, oh, it's free. Yeah. But they gave me the dissolvable, chewable kind because of the liquid, but whatever. I've been able to keep liquids and solids down now for 48 hours without much problem. Uh, other than that, um, not everything's been good besides that fact. Um, again, you know, I wish y'all would comment, do something, talk to me. Instead of just viewing anonymously, because whatever, I mean, this pissed me off, but... What about those a-holes? Oh, I don't want to talk about those. Yeah. Uh, there was just some EMTs in the, in the, in the, in the area of Brick, New Jersey. Uh, there was a J, first name, first okay. initial J, last name Sharky, and his partner. And they were really mean and rude. They made fun of me. They act like you're faking it. They act like I'm faking it. Like I'm some kind of frequent flyer or some kind of offender of the system, which I am not. Because, no and like, what the hell? I mean, walk one mile in my shoes, even a block! And you see what the hell I go through in a day. Lately. I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer, I'm just saying. Well, maybe someday. You know, no, no. I don't wish on. evil, I don't wish this on my worst enemy. Because this is hell. This is my hell on earth. When it, when it happens. But when it's good, it's okay. But when it's happening, and I'm in the hospital, and I don't know what's going on, and you're not there with me. It's hell on earth. It's like the worst 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 fate you could ever want to well i don't know this is a lot worse than that man i'm just being facetious but i i i think uh, to me it's this it's it's my personal hell i don't like you know obviously i don't like needles i don't like waiting for people to say well it's this or it's this or it's that i like a flat diagnosis tell me what the hell i got and tell me how to get rid of it or stabilize it do not just say, well, it could be this, it could be that. And say, well, we can't refer you to someone who could definitely tell you because, you know, you have to pay $600 up front or la 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 la. Like, oh, okay. Um, but the one I got to go to on May 15th is in Stratford, New Jersey. It's a UMDNJ outpost or satellite 
something, whatever. Anyways, it's seventy-five dollars, so I guess I'll have that by then, right? Yeah, I don't know what trying to I should have seventy-five dollars by May. Probably. But then I should have disability lately. Anyway, sorry. And my jaw's hurting where my teeth ease are. I'm telling you, next week they better give me some good pain meds if they're gonna rip out my tooth. They fucking better, or I'm gonna be pissed. Not that I want them, but... I'm a baby when it comes to freaking teeth pain, okay? I'm a baby. I'm like the... the... fruitiest little... How much little... is so cheesy one, baby? What's the serving? What's the serving? I'm looking for it. Serving size is a tablespoon. Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons? Yes. Okay. And tomato and bacon. Alright, no problem. Honey, now look at this chicken. What's, what's, what's half of the piece And put, um, and put, uh, oh, margarine no, no, no. spray on the roll. I want... That one. That one? Okay. And put chicken and margarine spray on the roll. Okay, okay. Yay food. Oh, man. So that's how my day is. And, um, you know, group was cool. Um, in my separate videos, I'm going to have some unboxings to kind of show you maybe of different stuff. Uh, my viewer, Bradley, um, purse actually came, the one that I, uh, oh, where is it, 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 R, 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 the one that, um, I remember if I told any of y'all, it, 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 um, oh, I have soda, got to get out of my purse, Vera will bite you, I have my whole bottle of soda, got to get off my purse, Andy, Daddy, get off. Daddy! She's killing Vera! Daddy, I can't bother with that. I'm trying to make your food. Daddy! I'll put you in it. You don't like that. This is actually my freebie from the, the Vera Bradley uh, website because they or the Vera Bradley store because I screwed up my my bag was like kind of busted after like a day like I had like fading in the, the what you call it was all screwy not fading um I had like unraveling like see where this has like a um this is the uh coin purse in symphony in hue this is actually a now a newly retired pattern um now you see where the border is right you can see the border, like the little fabric. Well, on my um, very, very paisley uh, east-west tote, this fabric here was like, there was like a gap. Like on the trim, there was like a gap, like underneath. So I called and I kind of, not really pitched a fit. I was just like, well, you know, I don't think this is right. It's my very first ever Vera. And for that to happen is wrong, and, you know, I, I heard you guys were great for quality, and that's why I bought you, you know, bought your purse, because it was a special Christmas gift, and, um, from, for me, from my father and stepmother, and, you know, they, I, you know, it's like, it was my actually, also, doubled as my, um, uh, what do you call it? My achievement for achieving, uh, losing 100 pounds is I promised myself a designer bag if I lost 100 pounds on Weight Watchers and I lost 120 and I had yet to buy my bag and I finally got it. That's so, diddy 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 thing. It's very nice. It's got, a uh, uh, it can hold a lot, um, what's got in it right now. In fact, it actually holds an iPod Touch. This is my third gen iPod yeah. Touch. The headphones, and also it can hold uh, credit card type things. These are just Trump cards from a uh, Trump card. These are from the Trump Casino. We got these when we won on a Christmas trip to uh, Atlantic City that we got as a gift, and uh, holds the driver's license. 
It could hold a lot more too if I wanted it to, but I just, you know, I don't know, whatever. It could hold money. So, yes. I'll probably do a separate video just about this, just because I want to. Um, anyway. Alright. So. Ciao to you all. I will talk to you next when there is a new development or I figure something else new or interesting to talk about with the epileptic seizure or psychogenic seizure diary. Okay. Thank you all and peace out, buds. Good song. Oh.